Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Final Fantasy. We are doing a side quest where we're trying to find UFOs. Gotta yeah. turn a fan on. Let's fucking find wherever the hell this pool is to. It's up here, I think. You're pretty sure? How come you're not 100% oh, sure? Yeah, no, for sure. It's on the top of one of these things. Mm, that sounds a little too high, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I don't, I don't want that in the video. Oh, there it was. That was correct. I'm down to a 1, that's, that's better. That was fucking correct, motherfucker. Bum, bum, fight that UFO! You gotta fight it and kill it! This thing's damn you. I don't want it. This side quest isn't bad. The next one. So this side quest is literally you just have to see a bunch of spaceships, fight this guy, then go find him and give him some more Okay, that's all there really is to it. Not bad at all. Next I mean, one. you could be destroying Goku's ship right there. It could be. Fucking help does this ship fucking have? There he is. Imagine if that had happened. Like seriously. Yeah. The hell the Saiyans would have destroyed Earth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Although they might not ever came because if Goku wasn't born, then that whole thing with Piccolo would have happened. And... <laughs> Nothing would have happened. Raditz would have came. Raditz can't destroy the whole world. No, Raditz only came because his brother was there. Nothing would ever happen. Nothing bad would have ever happened. Really. Earth, yeah. Maybe Frieza would have well, found Piccolo. Earth. No, man. Mm. Piccolo came from Kami. I don't fucking know. Yeah, I don't, know. I don't think. Piccolo As one of those, would they have? Would they not have? You know, because a lot of the villains who do come to Earth are like, "This is Earth. There's nothing there." You know, they're all like, "Man, about it." You're right. They probably would have just ignored it. Yeah, nothing would ever happen. And then Goku becomes the savior. Well, that's the whole Superman, you know. Uh, actually, right. no. Majin Buu would have eventually been released. So, he would have destroyed the world. Because they didn't come for there for Goku. Bibbidi and um, Bobbidi, which, whichever the fuck one he was. Bibbidi, Bobbidi, whoever. Came to, yeah. Do, um, do I have fun? But that's the same paradox about their Superman there. If Superman never would have came to Earth, would it be under attack all the time? Maybe. No. Not really. Might have. I just wanted to double check. I'm pretty sure. Or is it? Alexa, yep. You need five of them. And you've got five of them. We're just moving right along. Somebody has item on them, I presume. He does, alright. Okay! You still have revive on Squall? Yeah. Yeah, because this spaceship's gonna kill us. Well, I wasn't. I just wanted to make sure we're not fighting something we can't handle. It's a fucking spaceship. We just beat the fuck out of it. Look at that guy. Is that guy gonna kill us? No. No, I'd be curious as to what kind of damage he does, but... I see he just cast elixir on five times. How would you know to do that? You wouldn't. Do your research. If you feed him once, he says, give me elixir. More elixir, please. Yeah. But he doesn't tell you that right away. So can you kill him, or...? I don't want to kill him. What happens if you attack him? I don't know. We're not going to find out. Okay. We're not going to find out. Does he ever attack you? No. Oh, he just wants elixirs. You silly digits. It only heals him 10 health. Yes, I know, you hungry bastard. <laughs> you hungry, hungry hippo. Flesh and tails. Where is that bitch? Oh, no, I heard her sneeze. Jesus Christ. She is really sick. How? I mean, how is how she is sick? She... she just got sick. It's fucking summertime. So? How do you catch a cold in summertime? I don't know. Some people's immune systems are different. 
I don't know what a cat's immune system is like in the summer. Catherine probably does. Her cat's sick right now. Really? Yeah, and his mini's sick. Sneezing all the time. All day. If it's anything, it's probably like uh, allergies and stuff. Maybe. Well, at least she's away from the goddamn microphone for once. I think that was your. Oh no, that's your last one. Number five is alive. What's happening? Now? Thank you. And he gives us a poo -poo card. card. He gives us a card. A poo poo card. So. What's your name? My name's Poo Poo. Mr. Popo. So that was it. That was that side quest. They changed Popo's color. I know they did that, yeah. That's stupid. That's really stupid. They didn't want him to appear racist. He didn't strike me as a black man, he just striked me as just a man. That was it, it just it was, a different it, color. It was his extremely black skin with the big red lips. That Who was... gives a fuck? Y'all are sensitive fucks! Well, they say the same thing about Jinx and Pokemon. Who gives a fuck about being politically correct or anything? Y'all a bunch of fucking pansies. What happened to the fucking world? Y'all fucking everybody's gone. Y'all fucking entitled brats. Everybody's is what gone. Y'all. That's what it is, dude. Fucking assholes. Fuck anyone that thinks like that. You you heard it from me. I think Brock Landis is like that. Brock Landis ain't PC. No, he fucking ain't. Let me make sure I'm doing this thing right. I gotta go to the lake. Throw a rock. Try. I humming. gotta try humming. Try humming again. Hello, human. What a lovely dude. There's something large there. Yeah, it's called my fucking dick. Tailsy, you're gonna be alright. Now it's still a rock. No, that's not what we want. He was supposed to tell me something. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? That's what we want. What is it? It's my friend, Mr. Monkey. Jeez. Can you find him for me? This side quest sucks ass, by the way. I really don't enjoy it, but I'm going to do it. Okay. Do you have Monkey. to catch Mr. Popo? Maybe. Where did I park my shit? Oh no, it's Bubbles, isn't it? I'm sorry, guys. I, I probably sound like an idiot for saying that. Like People were, people were on the internet and like, oh, Mr. Popo is Mr. Popo. The monkey is Bubbles. How Maybe. dare you get that wrong? Maybe, yeah. No, that is how it is. Yeah, that is how it is. This is it is. Darn it. Jesus, Tails. You gotta live. I don't know. She's just over there sneezing and hacking and sneezing and... More sneezing. You fucking sneezing, sneezing, breezing. Jesus Christ. I know. There's the monkey. You suck. Okay. Maybe we want it the same time. You suck. The monkey disappeared. Okay, so maybe we didn't want to throw a rock at. Come on, you big dumb bitch. Bless you, Tailsy! My goodness! The monkey disappeared in the forest. So, he disappeared in the forest. Yeah, okay, I got it. I got it. I think we just gotta come back to the guy. Fuck you! Stop it! Stop! Okay. That's wanna, what you had to do? We're gonna go back to our friend, he's gonna ask us something else. How would you know the monkey's there? Because you, you found him. I don't know how you would originally know that. You just look at every forest, I guess. That's what I mean, how do people figure out these side quests? Did they just buy the guide and they were like, okay, here you go? Maybe. It's possible. No wonder these games are long, dude. It's because they got all this extra shit you don't even know exists. Little hidden agenda things. You literally locked yourself in. That music just kicks on for a little bit. Yeah, it's literally for a second. <laughs> da da da! <laughs> Try humming. Fine, Shadow Rider. Hello. Relayed the whereabouts of Mr. Monkey. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You'll find something on an island east of Timber. Oh, yeah. So these are all fucking clues. Oh, yeah. Take some time. Yep. There's a little place. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? Take some time. Okay. That's all you wanted. What a beautiful day. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> next time we will go do whatever the fuck it is. Jeez. Next, um, I gotta do. All right. We'll see you guys next time.